welcome to our channel so in this video we are going to discuss about hybridization of c2h4 that is ethylene sp2 hybridization and before move on to the topic i want to say something for you in our channel we will provide handwritten notes for every topic so you can download clear notes in a pdf format with free of cost which is in very simple and easiest format and i am sure that that much of answer is enough for four mark question so if you wanted to download that notes so you just go and check out the description or comment section where i gave the link to download the pdf of this topic notes and i hope which is helpful for you now let's move on to the topic 1s orbital and 2p orbitals they are mixed together or they combine together to form 3sp2 hybrid orbitals so that means in this mixture of atomic orbitals there is 1s orbital and 2p orbitals hence there are three orbitals are present in sp2 hybridization that means uh, there is 33% of s character and 67% of p character present in sp2 hybridization now let's take one example to understand this sp2 hybridization i am taking ethylene as an example so its molecular formula c2h4 so in this c2h4 there are two carbon atoms are present and these carbon atoms primarily undergoes sp2 hybridization in its excited state so let's see how it will undergoes sp2 hybridization in its excited state so now we have to consider the carbon atom in its ground state and we know that 1s has 2 electrons and 2s has 2 electrons while 2p in 2p there is one electron in x orbital and one electron in y orbital now let's consider the excited state of carbon atom so there are two electrons in 1s orbital while the one electron in 2s jumps into z orbital of 2p so this is the excited state of carbon atom now in hybrid orbitals there are already two electrons are present in 1s orbital and we know that in sp2 hybridization 1s orbital and 2p orbitals combine together so this 2s orbital and x and y orbitals of 2p would combine together to form three orbitals of sp2 hybridization thus i will put this unpaired electrons in these three hybrid orbitals having same spin so this is the first sp2 orbital and this is the second sp2 orbital and this is the third sp2 orbital and lastly i write the z orbitals of 2p here and this z orbital is unhybrid orbital and it means that this carbon orbital do not combine with 2s 2px and 2py and also it has more energy than all these three hybrid orbitals look at here now carbon atom has this type of geometry in sp2 hybridization this is the first sp2 orbital and this is the second sp2 orbital and this is the third sp2 orbital while this long orbital is 2pz orbital and which is unhybrid orbital and these all orbitals have one electron each and remember that the bond angle in sp2 hybridization is 120 degrees up to here just we saw the sp2 hybridization in carbon atom only in one single carbon atom only now we are going to see the sp2 hybridization in ethylene molecule let's consider the sp2 hybridization in this carbon atom and in this carbon atom so firstly both the carbon atoms will form chemical bonds by sharing the unpaired electrons in these sp sp orbitals secondly they both will share the unpaired electrons in unhybrid orbitals what are unhybrid orbitals 2pz are the unhybrid orbitals so in between the 2pz orbitals unpaired electrons will be shared like this and then hydrogen will share one electron with this sp2 orbital and with this sp2 orbital and also hydrogen will share its electron with this sp2 orbital and with this sp2 orbital and noted on that unhybrid orbitals always form pi bonds for example this 2pz orbitals form pi bonds while hybrid orbitals always form sigma bonds for example these sp2 orbitals form sigma bonds thus ethylene contains five sigma bonds and one pi bond Finally the shape of ethylene that is C2H4 is trigonal planar and the bond angle is 120 degrees hence this is the shape and geometry of 
this molecule that is ethylene molecule so in which carbon has sp2 hybridization